Let's talk about one of the things I don't do on this channel. I do not give you day-to-day -day updates on legislation making its way through Congress that's going to uh, change uh, possibly the immigration system. The reason I don't do that is because I simply don't believe that things are going to change uh, in the next decade. And I'll tell you why after the break. I don't pretend to be a newscaster uh, on this show. So I, 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 I've learned over time that uh, news in its current form uh, is uh, not reliable in terms of the information that it provides. And this channel is, a providing, is about providing reliable information to help you make better decisions and avoiding costly mistakes. So if I'm taking on news articles from the different associations I'm a part of as an immigration lawyer, if I'm analyzing news articles that uh, you know are popping up in, in different newspapers and newscasts around the country, uh, I don't feel like I can actually provide you good information. Being a lawyer, uh, doesn't make me any better at analyzing the news uh, than perhaps you are. And then I, I think that there are a lot of uh, a lot of kind of colleagues on, on YouTube and Facebook who do that, uh, I, I think are inadvertently um, capitalizing on, on information that's uh, not actually helpful to you. You know, so how helpful has it been over the past, you know, six months tracking this congressional bill which is now, you know, the infrastructure bill and the Build Back Better Act uh, to find out what's going to change uh, for you as uh, as someone who might not have a status and, and you want to be in status as an immigrant to the United States. I can see that it's probably been helpful maybe in, in calming down anxieties, but I also suspect that it creates anxieties and that's what keeps the views on those types of videos going. But here's my honest opinion on, on the congressional process as far as immigration goes. Immigration in Congress is not possible unless there is a bipartisan package involving both of our parties. And the last time we even approached that was a decade ago during the Obama administration. Right now we have a small, small, small majority in the Democratic Party that would make it possible seemingly for some sort of immigration reform to be passed to be passed within the Build Back Better Act. But we already know that uh, there are major barriers in the way of that that, that probably make it impossible. Uh, number one, we, we see that it's probably not going to be approved, this package that would you know create six million new uh, how many ever millions of new uh, folks uh, in legal status, that part's actually not gonna be approved to be within the bill. And we know that uh, there are senators who would vote against it because immigration, that whole topic, is just not popular within the general population. It's, it's not as popular as you would think on the left, and it's definitely just uh, one of the uh, one of the kind of lightning, ire, draw your ire, make you mad issues on the right. Uh, and, and so I think for you, as someone who's looking at the system, um, it's, it's really disingenuous in some ways to keep on saying, hope, 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 things are gonna happen, things are gonna happen. Um, what's better, in my opinion, is to uh, educate you uh, about a system uh, that is, right? Not one that will be. And uh, I'll give you an example from this channel. So I was really optimistic when DACA was uh, kind of put back you know, on the table with the Joe Biden administration that we'd see a lot of DACA applications. Uh, DACA is an executive order, it's not a congressional order. But even then, uh, we had to end this uh, 100 days of DACA series. I'll, you know, I'll put up the, the thumbnail up here that we were doing uh, because a federal court right in Texas uh, just uh, blocked the program. Uh, and that's because it's on the executive side and the executive actions are very vulnerable to kind of attack and to uh, being stopped by other parts of the government. So, you know, we live in this world where on the congressional side, we're dysfunctional. It's, it's um, difficult to pass uh, huge bills on social issues uh, because we're completely polarized. And I don't think that's gonna change until we figure out how to govern ourselves as a country. I think that's gonna take a decade, if not more, and I think we're gonna pass through a really rough period, maybe another Trump administration uh, before, before we get there, before we can even think of that issue. And then, 
you have these executive actions which themselves are just very vulnerable to attack. Um, I'll remind you that between 2016 and 2020, uh, the number of immigration cases in immigration court skyrocketed. It sits at a million and a half. Backlogs at US, USCIS and the Department of State have just you know, gotten bigger and bigger. And I believe that the immigration system is already in a failure state. You know, it's not a healthy system. It's a system that, that, that's already failed and partly due to kind of systematic attack right, by, by uh, an administration that was not friendly towards immigration, uh, and then partly due to our own inability as a country to actually govern around the issues that could release some of these backlogs and uh, maybe offer a, a, a glimpse of a, of a better immigration future. So I don't do news updates because I don't wanna give you false hope and I don't feel like I'm giving you any useful information. And I think you should be skeptical when you view videos that try to tell you, hey, it's coming, get ready, uh, the new immigration bill is going to pass, things are gonna be good, call our office, or hey, build back better, it's a big deal, it's a big deal, you gotta, you gotta like pay attention to me every hour of every day, and, and, and by the way, I also do this uh, other awesome uh, visa service that's not related to build back better, but since you're watching now and I'm getting your hopes up, you know, you, sh you should know about this and maybe call me. You know, that, that's what it feels like to me, where it's using, you know, your hope to rope you in into other things, which they could just tell you about because those other things are, are within the immigration system as is, not one that's, that's some kind of, you know, dream system down the line. Okay, you know, the awful truth is, again, that uh, immigration is uh, broken. It's going to take not months, not certainly not weeks, uh, not even years, but decades to, to get into a different place. And I fear and I believe that we're going to be at, at, a, at a much worse immigration moment uh, before we get to a better one, okay? Uh, because of the nature of the politics in this country. So that's the honest truth. I hope you can appreciate it. And if you've gotten this far, um, you know, subscribe. Thanks so much.